Hey cuties, it's your girl Tana Too Cute. Listen, we are now in episode four of All American. Y'all, it wasn't a lot going on in this episode, but it is titled Black Out. And mainly, y'all, it is about Spencer's 21st birthday that he blacked out and don't remember anything that went on. Jordan and Olivia, they are reminiscing about their father. And Asher, he is struggling after he had to make that decision, the hard decision about bringing Way onto the team. So let's talk about it. I feel good. Wait a minute. Who are I Wow. So in no particular order, I am just going to highlight the things that stood out. So let's talk about Spencer first. So it is Spencer's 21st birthday. Of course, he wakes up with Olivia and he has a birthday party planned, I guess, in a bar, I suppose. And um, part of the plan was for him to take 21 shots and when i tell you spencer was lit he was litty litty to the point that there were things that took place that he did not remember and the biggest deal was a, a, a birthday gift from olivia so he was thinking that that gift was something tangible but it actually was not and he was on edge this whole episode you know trying to find out what was the gift so that olivia would learn that he lost the gift but in actuality it was actually a tattoo which she shared with him you know at toward the end of you know that episode Prior to the birthday party, Spencer, you know, went over to his mom's house and his mom name is Miss Grace, Grace. And uh, she had, you know, cooked, I guess, breakfast, some muffins for him that Olivia attempted to cook. But his mom, of course, stepped in and made some really good ones. And they had their first um, glass of alcoholic beverage and she was like let's make a toast to your first drink your birthday for you know you having your first drink like really these kids these Beverly Hill kids been drinking for I don't know how long but Spencer's brother was like you really believe they this is first drink but of course uh Miss Grace she you know wanted to play along and have the birthday toast um, later on in the episode, well, of course, throughout the episode, they doing flashbacks on, you know, what really took place at Spencer's birthday party. I mean, Spencer was all over the place. He was in multiple fights, you know, one with, um, Asher because he had Wade there and, you know, they learned that he brought Wade back onto the team. Well, at Asher's school, but of course, Wade was a part of that whole scandal that went down at GAU. So they got into a tussle there, and Spencer pushed Asher. Then it ended up where Spencer smashed cake in Jordan's face, and it was just a bar brawl. Uh, but all in all, Spencer did loop back around, and he apologized. Spencer was so lit, y'all. Um, Jordan, you know, wanted to make sure that he got Spencer home after that party, but Spencer wasn't going. They had an intense conversation. Now, y'all know when you are under the influence, you speak facts. You speak the truth. And in that conversation, they was in an alley and they were just going back and forth. And Spencer was like, you do everything anything or everything that coach Matt tells you to do y'all know that's the new offensive or defensive coach uh, coordinator and Jordan was like well you just don't like it when the attention is not on you so both of them had some good points and because they was under the influence they were able to communicate that to each other period point blank period um but again spencer looped back around during this episode and he made it right you know with everyone but spencer did not leave with jordan so 
Come to find out, you know, Spencer uh, Wade actually stepped in and he made sure that uh, Spencer was safe. Um, Spencer learned this through when Spencer was on his apology tour, okay? So Wade actually took Spencer back to his place and let allow him to sleep it off until the next day. So Spencer woke up in this foreign place and he saw Wade on a picture like, oh my gosh, what didn't happen here? I'm over Wade house. So he snuck out, and but he did learn, you know, that's what happened. So Spencer was safe. So uh, no drinking and driving, baby safety first okay so let's talk about coop and patience so of course they having a good time at the party you know drinking and everything so they end up leaving you know of course coop want to make sure you know patient is safe they at the house and patient is coming on to coop and coop was like listen we've been drinking we haven't been in a good place in a minute and basically she turned down patience and patient was like really is this what you're doing and she was like way to you know ruin the vibe or the mood but i you know kudos to coop you know having some self-control because she could have took advantage of that moment and just went in but no she cared enough about uh, patient's headspace, you know, to decline her in that moment. So I thought that was big of Coop. Layla and Jordan, they're still acting petty because, of course, Layla is just really busy right now. And Jordan is struggling, you know, with that idea that she is, you know, running the lounge. She is running Patient's career. And he's, you know, putting a lot of pressure about the wedding planning. And she's just really busy. So he's still upset with her because she did not make the arrangements with the wedding planner. And they're just, you know, not talking. He's not responding to her text or he's doing petty things like liking the text message versus typing a message. But all in all, they end up, he end up apologizing to Layla, Layla you know, later on in the episode because when he and uh, Olivia met, you know, because they were reminiscing about their dad, they visit a park that Jordan and his dad used to visit a lot when he they were younger. And through that, Olivia allowed him to see that, you know, it could be worked out and you are engaged. So you want to work it out the same way our dad brought you to this park to, you know, collect his thoughts after their mom and their dad got into an argument and they ended up, you know, resolving that and they was in a good space. So Layla and Jordan, they, um, you know, back on good terms. So we'll just see how that pretty much unfolds the rest of the season. So Asher and Wade, they are back at the school, you know, going over plays because the head coach wants to make sure that this was the right decision. So Asher is stressed a little bit and I don't, you know, that's going to, that could be a little dangerous for Asher and his condition, you know, um, any stress. So, um, but he's going over these plays to make sure Wade knows and understand these plays. And Wade is kind of giving him a little pushback. Like he knows this stuff we don't have to go through this and Asher was like listen I'm your coach I'm not your friend and he's like you're not the coach you're just the assistant and Asher was like look this is my responsibility because the head coach is my boss you gonna do this you gonna learn these plays or you gonna make sure that I know that you know these plays so get on board but I also learned y'all that way may be you know, on a different page than what we previously seen in the last season he was on. So he might be on the right path, y'all. We'll just have to see, you know, how this kind of plays out. Because right now, I'm, 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 I just don't know how to call it, you know, with Wade right now. So those are pretty much the highlights for this episode, y'all. It wasn't an explosive episode to me. We didn't see a lot of the, the regulars on this episode. 
But anywho, y'all like up this video, hit subscribe, and look, y'all have a good day on purpose. Bye.